All right, everyone, well, welcome back. And uh, today's video is actually a follow-up to a video. My last video that I posted was for Mother's Day weekend. It was that Friday that I arrived up in the mountains up in, uh, in Sparta, North Carolina, and we did a couple hours of fishing there. This one uh, is the following morning. It starts off, it's gonna be a two, maybe three part video because we actually got a lot of footage. We caught a lot of fish that day. Um, it was raining, <laughs> it started raining pretty hard and it got worse and worse as the day went on. The streams got a little bit more more muddy, but as you follow through this series of videos, you'll see that the fishing uh, didn't really die off. Uh, caught quite a good number of fish. Uh, we were fishing for trout, uh, mostly using spinners and some uh, trout worms. And we've caught, uh, we caught brown trout, rainbow trout and a lot of brook trout this time which is really cool because on my last trip up there I didn't catch that many brookies so it was kind of cool to catch a big large number of brook trout um so anyway check it out uh let me know what you think i hope you guys enjoy it and uh, thank you for tuning in okay so let me show you what we're doing here this is called a spinner and what it does is this blade when it gets any resistance in the water oh, i'll twist it up So when this blade gets resistance in the water, it actually spins, which creates vibration and flash. And this is one eighth ounce, so a little bit heavier. It's not very deep, but we wanted to get deeper into the water column. And what I'm actually doing is I'm casting it across the river and just kind of letting it drift. And when it hits the current, the current is what's making this spin. So I'm not really giving it any action. It's getting the action from just the current of the water. So you see it's got the flash on the back of the chrome and then white on this side. White seems to be working really well. I think because they see it really well. It's dark outside, it's overcast, obviously raining. The water isn't super, super crystal clear. So, and even in crystal clear water, white has been really productive in, in this body of water. So I'm just casting it across, reeling in slack, and now I'm just gonna let it kind of drift and I'm gonna keep up with it so it doesn't get caught up in those trees underneath there. But I can feel the vibration of it underneath in the water. I don't know if you guys can see it flashing down there. But uh, on back-to-back -back cast, I got those two brook trout, two nice sized fish. I'm gonna try upstream this time. Now, when I'm cast upstream, I have to reel a little bit faster, keep up with the current. Oh. Uh. And I'm also the one giving the lure the action. So it's slightly different. Now, I normally use, this is four pound line. On my other rod, I, I spooled brand new six pound line yesterday. This is actually old line that I have on here. So, but it's held up pretty well. Hopefully I don't break off a big, big trout. There are some bigger ones in here than the ones we've been catching. Or, oh, is he on? No. The ones we've been catching are in the 12 and 13 inch range, but there are some that are in the 22 inch range, much larger fish. I can't tell if those are bites or if I'm just hitting rocks. Here's where Casting actually, ac accuracy is really important. And I am not the most accurate, but, oh, there he is right there. Oh, he got off. I am not the most accurate, but I'm getting better. Jim over there is incredibly accurate because when it comes to his casting. I used to be really good at it because when I was a kid and didn't have a job and all I could do was worry about fishing. I actually go in the street. Did I get him? He missed. Oh, another one. There he is. There he is. I can see them swiping at it. Nice. 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 Nice fish. Oh! No, 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 no. No, 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 you don't. You're not taking my lure with you. Killing it. Yeah, I went I ended up first cast that rooster tail broke off. I had to break him off. It was stuck in the rocks. He just broke me off and he almost fell in the water. I was like, no, you're not taking my Panther Martin with you. So, remember those little dace fish I was telling you about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you catch one? Yeah, on a spinner of all things. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've caught those in, um... Ooh, careful. No, 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 no. They're real pretty. Hold on, I don't want to lose my lure. I, got, I still got the camera running. Let me see. Oh, yeah. And you notice, even as small as he is, the hook is actually in his mouth. I didn't snag him. Aggressive little guy. They are. Their mouths are huge. All right. Let's get this guy back in the water. All right, buddy. Go get bigger. See you next year. Probably not. Someone's going to have him for dinner here in a little bit. 
I don't know if you guys see it, but there's a fish right here. You see that black, that shadow moving? That's a fish. Look at that. That's incredible. Right there. That's so funny. Oh, I missed him. It's still there. Pretty sure it's one of the ones one of us has caught recently. So I am wearing waders. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit wet here. Aha. Got him? I caught him with my line over a branch. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very smart. Oh. That's not going to catch any fish. It's just got some weeds or something on it. Let's go ahead and cast downstream. So now I'm not reeling very fast. I'm just letting the current do the work for me. And what I'm actually going to do is just kind of pull back and then let it drop, let it flutter down. Pull back, let it flutter down. Just very, very light movement. Whoa. No, that was, uh, I think I was on the rock. Oh, okay. Man, it is really coming down. That's the cast I wanted, right there. There he is. Got him. Right, right, you were right on that spot. Yep. All right. What do we got here? Is it my first rainbow? rainbow? All right, my first rainbow of the trip. Rainbow trout. You'll find that at your local grocery store. Little pink, pink stripe right down there. Caught lots of these back home. They're stocked in the reservoirs. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Okay. I got you. Just feel like at every any moment that monster could come and take this. <laughs> oh, too much slack, too much twist. I could have a fish on there right now, not even know. Way too much slack on that cast. Was that you? Yep. Nice.
So for all the people that ask the question, can you catch fish in the rain? There you go. Yeah, not bad. I think it's a brown. Look at it, bulldogging. I know, right? Oh. Oh, oh, don't, don't go there. Don't go there. That's a big brook. Nice brook. Heck yeah. Dude, this one's... Look at, the, look at the pink on that belly. Oh my god, he is lit up. That is... The, that, oh my god. Another, he's got a little bit of a hunchback too. Not as bad as the other one, but... Oh my goodness, what a... This one's... We're getting a picture of this one. That one's gorgeous. What a beautiful animal. Oh my god. I've never seen one that colored in here. Wow, you are lit up like something special, aren't you? What's really pretty silvery? I'm thinking a rainbow. Yeah. Skipper. Skip. Yup, yup. Yeah, yeah. All right. The fish are biting. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. They're just as feisty as, as speckled trout, you know? Oh, yeah. It's the cold water, man. It's the amount of oxygen. It's got to be. Yeah, that's a good point. It's the same thing with the Oop. small Oop. mouth versus a large mouth, you know. Although you take a, a two-pound large mouth and a two-pound small mouth, put them side by side, and the small mouth still going to kill it. Oh, yeah. But in terms of its, it's fighting its attitude. Yeah, it's part of it. They, yeah, they also have a nasty attitude. Not that I've ever caught one, but everything I've read about them and seen about them, they just, they don't have any, they're like, they're like redfish, they just don't give up. Yeah, that's exactly it. They dig and dig and then they'll come up and they'll jump three feet in the air. Yeah, so what I've been doing, I, nice. Oh, oh. You two, double, double. Yo, this is a, this is a good one. No, you got him in his back. Oh. Uh. Got a rodeo style. <laughs> <laughs> Only got last eight seconds, man. <laughs> Sorry, I should have disappointed you. I should have just. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah. All right. Whoop, little brookie. All right, buddy. That, 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 that's how you use it for bait. Yeah. There you go. All right, that was funny. Nice, nice, nice rainbow. No, that's a good one. Oh, it's a brook. No, it's a rainbow. Oh. It's a rainbow named Brook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, I got you. I got you right now. Well, you were not getting off. Okay, where are you going? You gonna take my rod with you? Is that what you're doing? Come here, come here, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. I know. It's scary. Oh, good job. Well, you're twisting the hook up. There you go. That's not bad. Oh yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice rainbow right there. It's a good size rainbow right there. Right there. All right, buddy. Go get bigger. All right, fish on. What do we have here? What do we have? Is it a brown? No, brook trout. Okay. On the red worm. Thank you for your cooperation. And you didn't mess up my worm too much, so I don't have to do anything. I'm just gonna cast right back underneath there. Perfect cast.
hit. He's still on it. Right on the edge of that rock, just before it spills over. All right, let's try that again. Definitely got a little interest. Oh, that's not a fish. Not a snack. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, I got it loose. Make sure everything's okay on here. So these worms are rigged just like that. That hook got straightened a little bit, so we're going to bend that back. There we go. All right. Good deal. Give you an idea how deep this creek is. He's just crossing because he's had his spinner caught up on a tree on the other side. So you can see all the mud that he's that's about to head downstream towards me. So it's gonna be unfishable in a little bit. But for now, push on. There's a hit. There's a hit. Oh I missed him. I am seeing some very, very small fish flashing, and I'm wondering, I'm not even sure those are trout. And here comes the mud. All right, so we just caught a brown trout on a brown trout spinner. <laughs> That's awesome. There's bright red on it, and like you said, dark, dark back. My God, he's almost black. He's a black trout, a new species. Just discovered it. I guess since I discovered it, I get to name it, so it's, it'll be the Rivas Salmonilis. <laughs> all right so on jim's suggestion we went with the brown trout spinner which is a little darker color but because of all the rain the water's getting a little bit more stained so it's like a little darker and more natural looking oh there's another hit oh i missed them i missed them but they definitely like the brown trout i don't know if it's the color or if it's the sonic but they like it That's not a fish. That was the bottom. Rockfish. Rockfish. Rock lobster. Dum 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 Can't come into work today. Yeah, good luck with that one. Real nice flipping. Oh, that's a, that is a good he fish. He like the panther He like it, like it. Like it, like it, lot. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't get me in trouble now. He like it a lot. That's a good fish. That's a nice brookie right there. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know. I know. <laughs> it hurts your feelings when you see them come up like that. Yes. 
Wow, that was a big kadonk. I know, right? It sounded like he was about three times that big. Phew. Where are you at? I'm going back that way. So, I've had two fish. Do you see the, uh, that seam, that, that boulder? No, it's actually not a boulder, it's the bottom of the river. That dark spot, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's another one. Oh, I just missed him. Um, anyway, twice now, as I've stopped it and brought it back this way over it, that's when they flashed on it. I'm telling you, against the current, it's the new, it's the, it's the new, the orange is the new black, man. I'm telling you, it's, just go backwards. It's working with the spinner too, because I'm just letting the current make this blade spin. Make the blade spin. And they're just, on every cast so far, I've gotten, well, this one probably won't work because it wasn't a good cast, but. I used to never fish this spot until this year because it, it finally got deep enough. It just, whoa. Man, he pulled the pool out of me. He got drink the rod out of him. Okay. All right, so we're moving along. I don't know how many fish we've caught. Dozens. A couple of pretty good sized ones. No monsters, and by monsters I mean like the 18, 19, 20 inch fish. But still some good sized fish and great numbers nonetheless. So definitely can't complain. Even with the rain, fish are still biting. I am getting a little bit wet, so I'm going to grab my jacket and put that on. But otherwise, it's been a very, very, very productive day. And we're not even halfway through with it. It's barely 1048 right now. And we're gonna fish until it gets dark. So we've got another, what time does it get dark? Like eight o'clock? We were fishing at 840 last night. 840, so we've got another, <laughs> technically we could fish for another 10 hours of sunlight. Yes. So we got another 10 hours of fishing here. Yeah, this has changed. That laydown didn't used to be there, did it? No, and you could totally fish it. It's, that used to be totally shallow. There was no pool over there. It was just a tiny little trickle that came into this pool here. It's, it's completely different than before. Okay, I was going to get my jacket, but this just looks too fishy. And that little spillover is an awesome spot. Right over that rock right there? Yeah, right in there. I'm just going to pitch a worm right here. There's a good eddy. There's a good pocket right here. Yes. And that, that's been formed since the beginning of this year, that little eddy right there, because it was very thin right through here. Uh, current's too fast. The weight won't get it down. Wow, it's like a deep undercut. I'm looking at it, I was like, man, that's a death trap. If everybody got sucked up underneath there. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Take that worm under that undercut. What I'm hoping is that the worm will, the current will take the worm and actually suck it underneath this undercut here. There are a lot of, there are a lot of roots and branches. There's a lot of snags down here though. All right, I'm going to go get my jacket. Okay, well, there you go. Um, as you can see, we actually had a good time. It was uh, raining pretty hard, but uh, we still had a great, great time. Caught a lot of fish, so you can catch fish in the rain. Uh, and hung out with my buddy, and we had you know, joking around, just having a blast. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you very much to the Brown family, Jim, Melissa, Addison, and a special shout out to McLaren, who was sweet enough to uh, cover me this little picture here. So uh, I wanted to dedicate this video today to McLaren, so thank you very much, sweetheart. And she went ahead and did both sides for me. Really, really kind. Uh, so this has actually been on display in on my uh, refrigerator since I've been home from this trip. Uh, it's so sweet. She hardly spoke to me the whole time, but uh, just when I was getting ready to leave, she comes running up to me and gives me the little, the, the little picture she made. So thank you so much, McLaren. I really appreciate that. That was very, very kind of you. Um, so anyway, uh, had a great time, caught a lot of fish. Uh, there's still more uh, video to, sh to share with you that will be on the next part. So thank you guys very much for, for tuning in, and we will see you on the next fishing adventure.